Hi, I'm Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. We're here again for another installment of the Monday Matic series, although this is going to be the final one, at least for a while. I have a lot of projects coming up during this coming fall, and so I'm going to take a little break from the Monday Matic to work on some other things. Uh, one of those things being we'll be working on a live interview program with top people in jazz dance across America and even throughout Europe. That should be starting within about two weeks. So you've, if you're a subscriber and you, you get my regular notifications, be watching for that because you'll be given a link and a certain time the live broadcast will happen and you can watch it as it happens. You'll be able to put your uh, questions in um, that we can give to the people that I will be interviewing also. So um, that's something new, um, be watching out for that. But today we are working again on Maddox exercises and this is an unusual one maybe you haven't seen before. This one is called throws, throws. And usually we do this very at the end of the opening, what Matt would call the bar section. So after you do hip isolations and you get to a point of a stretch, this would be something that we done just before you sit on the floor. Um, it's a very deep movement, it's a very sculptural movement, and I'll try to explain it as much as possible in this uh, two-dimensional format. So right now, we're going to do throws from the Mathematics Freestyle Jazz Dance Technique. So we are working on throws from the Mathematics Freestyle Jazz Dance Technique. Now, first thing we have to understand is that there's a very sculptural position that we are throwing the body into. So let's talk about that position before we talk about the actual movement of how to get into that position. Um, I'm gonna take my right leg and step on it. I'm gonna pull my left leg around the back. My left knee will be straight in the back. Um, from here, the heel is pushed forward, so it's not back with a big gap between my legs. Tighten up your thighs as much as you can. When you do hit this position, you will be lifting both heels off of the floor, so your front heel will be released also. So that's what the back or the bottom of half of the bottom uh, the body is doing. Now, from here, I'm going to take my torso and rotate it. So if my left leg is back, my left shoulder is rotating forward to make a curve. I'm going to continue that with the arm on the throw. It will actually be reaching across your face and pull the shoulder out to make this as long a line as possible. It will not be here, but it will be here. That position creates a little bit of a helix type of a look through the arm, down through the body, and through the back leg so that there is a three-dimensional spiral that comes down. That's what we're working for. Now, one thing you want to do is to not allow the body to go sideways. You do not want to tilt the pelvis forward, which will pop the rib cage forward. This is in and supported, and then it's rotated from there so that this is nice and level and not in a released position. That will kind of ruin your line if you do that. This side arm is parallel to the floor. The other arm is curved across it to make that line. I want to feel that my shoulder is pulling in that direction, but I'm going in on the ribs. So there's a two-way stretch that's happening. In right here in the ribs and in the, the midsection, but stretching long on the shoulder all the way down to the opposing hip. So that's what we're gonna do. So if I start with my feet together, first thing I do is reach the arms and I bring my body to a tilt. There's a little point there. Now I'm gonna push back, and I'm gonna to throw to this position, my heels will be off, and I return with a little up-down movement and prepare. So I have one and two, three and four. One and two, three, I go to the other side. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. So that's all it is. It's a little relaxed movement. It's a throw. It's a really beautiful deep sculptural movement. And it's something that's a nice conclusion to the very hard, uh, as Matt calls it, bar that he would do in the beginning of class to warm up the body. So we're going to do four in each direction. Okay, so I start with my feet together. I have a little plie and a tilt. Six, seven, eight. One and two, three. You really look where you're throwing. Look. Three and four. One and two, three and four, one and two, and the other side, one and two, three, give it a suspension, one and two, three, four, both heels off, and two, three, last time, one and two, three and four, from there. So that's the exercise, those are the throws from the Mathematics Freestyle Jazz Dance Technique. Uh, one additional thing I can tell you about, just remembered, Matt used to tell us, when you throw, there's a direction of the fingers that makes a line. 
your eyesight also goes with it and at some point the line of the fingers and the line of the eyesight will meet far far out in space of which he called infinity that's how far you're supposed to be reaching and looking so that is the dimension of the body that big as we make it so make sure you're looking for infinity as we do this exercise so those are throws from the mathematics freestyle jazz dance technique um, now in terms of my channel it's been growing by leaps and bounds so thank you for everybody who's been watching um, if you're not a subscriber please click that subscription uh, button and also click the notifications bell so you'll be notified of what's coming up um, as I mentioned, we do have a live interview program coming up probably within two weeks. And so I'll be interviewing um, top people in jazz dance across the United States and also throughout Europe as we develop this program. So once you hit that notifications bell, you'll be sent a link a few days ahead of time that'll say at a certain time, this is when the broadcast will be, here's the link to get on, and you'll be able to see it live as it's happening. And there'll be a little space on the side where you can bring questions for the panelists also, and we can bring those into the conversation. So I think it's gonna be a really interesting thing for Jazz Dance to do this and to bring this information to everybody. So, so that's it. My name is Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.